Okay, we've got the batteries all charged up in the receiver and in the battery compartment. All the wire leads put back on. Uh, a little more electrical tape just to double ensure the seal on the battery compartment. Make sure once you put that cap back on, release that air equalization valve pin just to get any overpressure out of there. Same with the WTC itself. Make sure any air is out. Now, what we'll do is we're going to take the old can of Propel here. This valve that I have is bad, so I get a little bit of leakage sometimes. There we go. Alright. Trick to loading up the tank with Propel. First you gotta, with this stupid little tube, you gotta hold this higher. You wanna put a little bit in, just a touch. Okay, and then using a screwdriver, vent that off, get your face out of the way. And what that does is cools off the inside of that copper storage tank. Alright, so now we're going to give it a full fill. And when you fill it, I don't know if this will come out on camera, but you'll be able to hear kind of like filling a glass. You can hear the sound difference when it's full. This only takes a second. Getting close. Yep. She's full. Alright. One second take this valve off of here. You always get a little left in the tube. Alright. Transmitter on first, always. And your battery compartment. I'm just testing my servos. Everything seems to be good. Check the motor. Both forward and reverse. Alright. I'm going to move the camera. And we'll get this baby in the water. And see how many blows we get. one and I'm kind of overblowing it so you might get more if you're gentle with it yeah that's two that's three that was a big one That's four. That was even bigger. That's five. That was pretty big. There's six. Seven. That's eight. That's nine. And I can hear get a little low. That's ten. And 
that's an 11. Uh, whoops, hit the throttle. That's 12. I'm really struggling now, it's getting low. 